we were in for Matteo Lanzoni from Oldham, but uh, that deal fell through. Can you explain why that was? Yeah, um, in our eyes, he, he didn't come up to scratch on the medical side. Um, he, he's, he's got a bit of a history with missing a lot of games. Um, I'm at Crawley Town where we, we run a very tight ship uh, financially with our players. Um, we have a, a relatively small squad. Um, and really, my boys need to stay fit and healthy for at least 40 games of the season. You know, you expect um, the senior players to, to be playing around 40 odd games a year. Um, obviously, you can mix and match it occasionally with some of the youngsters. Um, but we've got a very thin squad, and I looked at Matteo's uh, history, and I think there's only one season where he's played above 30 matches. The rest of them have all been around the 20 mark, and that was a little bit concerning for me. And um, we did sit and, and discuss everything. He was ready to sign for us, but uh, in the end, I changed the, the, the contract details. I wanted to give him 18 month, uh, an 18 month contract, where well, I changed it to six months. Uh, going to take him to the end of the season and providing he played a requisite amount of games we'd keep him for another year but um, he, I think he wanted the security of 18 months he went down and spoke with Gary Johnson at Yeovil and signed for Yeovil um, and we wish him luck on that um, I would have liked to have, have kept him but as I said I always had this doubt in the back of my mind that um, uh, it, it spent too much time on the treatment table uh, it might prove me wrong but I wasn't prepared to take that risk so uh, we closed the door on that one. In terms of the transfer window, it's often the best uh, policy to keep your powder dry a little bit rather than going hung gung ho at the start as soon as the January the first comes around. Yeah, but it's, it's twofold, Bruce. As you know, I mean, you, you could miss targets, people that we've we've got in mind. Someone else can come along and and nick them, uh, and then you get into a sort of a price war, which uh, I don't really want to get too involved in. Um, we have been working quite hard on, on various things off the field for the last uh, couple of weeks since I came in. Um, and of course, you know, Richie was even doing a little bit before I came. Uh, so, so people at the club are aware of potential targets that we've had for a little while. Um, all I would say is that there, there will be one or two new additions before the end of the month. Um, I'd probably rather have one good one one really good one than, than have three or four that don't quite come up to the standards that we want um, just for the sake of bringing in extra bodies. I don't want, I don't want to do that. Uh, and fans get excited. Um, I've been in it a long time and I know how fans react. Suddenly you sign five players, the fans are absolutely delighted that we've actually gone out and signed five new players and they all get excited and then they see them play and they think, why the hell have we signed them? <laughs> Uh, so I don't want to fall into that trap just to bring in people just to appease uh, supporters. Uh, I'd like to think that the supporters will put the trust in us at the football club with the, with the board of directors and myself and, and the likes of Guy Whitting and Paul Barron, um, that we will bring in people that will improve our side. Uh, it might be one, it might be two, it might be more than that, but uh, they have to make sure that when they come in they will improve our team. So. Uh, Watch this space, Bruce.